And uh, joining us now with reaction, RNC Chair Ronna McDaniel. Uh, great to see you. We've talked through this entire process on radio and in person about this. And a major achievement. The president gets a major legislative win. And the RNC now, as I just said, Ed, you guys have to take it to the streets. Where do you begin? Well, it is a historic day. It's a great Christmas present. And President Trump led the way. You know, I think about a year ago when he was coming to my state of Michigan and traveling this country and recognizing that wages were stagnant, that people were suffering. And now, today, he has said, we are fighting for you. We are going to give the middle class a huge tax cut. We are going to make your paychecks bigger. We're going to increase jobs. We're going to grow our economy. We're going to fight for the American people. So at the Republican Party, we're going to keep hammering home the great accomplishments of this president and Senator McConnell and, and Speaker Ryan. And then we're going to remind them that the Democrats were nowhere to be found. In fact, Joe Manchin went home and he saw a big banner that said, Rem we'll remember in November. Well, we're going to make sure they remember in November that no Democrats supported middle class tax cuts and helping the American people. Let's talk about the major driver of the economy, and that is the corporate side of this. And I'm not talking about the mega corporations, S Corps, L Corps, LLPs, small businesses, the individual truckers out there. They call every day. They ask, what does this mean to me? What does it mean to them, the people that are in that fifty to $75,000 income level, but they have a pass through, they have a business. What does it mean to them? Well, it means they're going to take more money home. And it's, and it's a twofold, a twofold in that we've cut so many regulations. The president focused on that at the, at the first three months of his administration, cutting regulations. And that is so important to the small business owner because they were so constricted by these cumbersome regulations that were preventing them from growing and being able to expand their businesses. So that, and then with the tax cuts, they're going to take more money home. They're going to be able to invest in their businesses. They're also going to be able to help their families. Uh, this is a great day for small businesses businesses for, like you said, those truck drivers, people across the, the country are going to benefit. And that's exactly who President Trump targeted with this huge tax reform bill. All right. Ed Henry brought it up a little while ago, Ronna, and I got to tell you, he's got a good point. Can the Republicans write a 30-second ad that lays out for the American people what this means? What does that ad say to the American people in 30 seconds? Well, Republicans are putting the American people first. And we are get, uh, increasing their paychecks. We're going to focus on creating more jobs. We're going to increase wages. And we're going to grow this economy. And we are going to make America a better place for all Americans. And we have delivered at every turn this year. And we're just going to keep doing it. So give us the majority in 2018. All right. Now let's talk about some other things. I like to cover the things that aren't always there. Today's a big day with tax cuts. Great Christmas present for Americans. But what about other things? Regulatory reform. We've got immigration on the table to deal with DACA. We've got so many issues. And there's been a divide at points in the Republican Party. Is the party going to come together now that the president has a head of steam and with the help of the RNC go out and do these things? Border security. There's, there's, a, there's words out the president's going to the border to look at these walls. Balls. Well, so much has been accomplished in this year as we look at the year in review. You look at the judicial appointments. You look at Neil Gorsuch. You look at our Veterans Accountability Act. You looked at our increased military spending and deregulation and tax cuts. We're just going to keep doing that. The president has signaled that he wants to tackle infrastructure next year. That's something that should bring bipartisan support. You know, there's a lot in the accomplishment column for Republicans. What have Democrats done this year? What have they accomplished? Nothing. Resist and obstruct and fighting this president at every turn, even if it's in the best interest of their constituents, is not a message that they're going to be able to run on in 2018. This tax bill has shown that we can come together as a party, we can govern as a party, we have a president who is leading the way, and we're going to continue fighting for the American people. Our hand is out to Democrats. We want them to come across the aisle and work with us, but if they're not going to, we're going to get it done. Well, are they really going to come across the aisle as we wrap this up? Because we've heard Chuck Schumer say that Republicans are going to rue the day when they do this. Nancy Pelosi, this is the worst thing. This is Armageddon. I'm paraphrasing. You know the words that are being used. And they're not reading the bills. Nothing new for Democrats. But are they really going to come to the table? 
Well, there's some senators who I think are going to be looking at 2018. Joe Manchin, Heidi Heidkamp, Joe Donnelly, John Tester, Sherrod Brown. These, these senators in these, uh, these red states where President Trump won, they want the photo op with the president. They want to show that they're bipartisan. But so far, they are totally beholden to their leadership, Chuck Schumer and Nancy Pelosi. And when voters go to the ballot booth next November, they're going to ask, what did my senator do? And we've got real opportunities to pick up seats if they can't come across the aisle and work on anything, especially middle-class tax cuts and infrastructure. Thanks, Rana. And by the way, great to see you. Have a Merry Christmas to you and your family. You've worked very hard uh, in the first part of this term. So good luck. Have a great Christmas. You deserve Merry a break. Merry Christmas. Merry uh, Christmas. Thank you, David.